My name is Ian and welcome to Planted. It's in early March that we start to get inundated with the desire to grow all sorts of plants from bulbs and seeds. And many of us can grow seeds with varying degrees of success. So I've come up with the radish challenge. Now in this I use radish as my uh, subject matter. We're going to conduct an experiment and I'm going to show you the how and the why and the what plants need in order to be grown from seed successfully. Lots of fun, anybody can do it. Growing plants from seed is very rewarding, but many people jump in with not much of a game plan. So I'm using radish seed and I'm planting them in three separate ways. One will go on a windowsill, one will go in a greenhouse, and then we'll also be planting some radish seeds directly in the ground. We're going to follow these three storylines to see how they grow, why they grow, and get you to better understand what plants need, especially when you grow them from seed. Now in springtime, all the magazines are out, all the um, people with tips and tricks, grandmas, grandparents, everybody's got an opinion about growing seed. And these radish seed are very tough and robust, and they're very forgiving. And I put them here in the ground directly sown. It's still quite cold, there's a little bit of snow on the ground. Here we've got them in a pot, just lightly pressed into the surface. Now I'm deliberately not covering them because I want you to watch the germination and you can understand that if they had a very slight covering that would aid them in them not drying out. But many, many seeds fall on the ground, don't get covered and they still germinate. We have become uh, somewhat brainwashed to sow plants in rows and then bury them an inch deep. They don't need such a heavy covering. The benefit of the plants going in this pot and then into the greenhouse is that they get natural light. They've got light coming at them from all sides. This will be warmer than those sown outside, but it will be cooler than those that will go on the windowsill. All plants received a very gentle watering, as you can see here. The watering process actually sucks the seed a little bit deeper into the soil, makes it come in contact with nice moist growing medium, and that's very beneficial because it gives the plant a nice consistent uh, access to water. This pot is placed on my windowsill. It's a south facing window, so there's lots of bright sunshine, and obviously being indoors, it's uh, at a good temperature at night. It's not below freezing. We go outside uh, a few days later and look at our outside plants. They have settled into the soil a little bit, but many of them are still on the surface. Now the temperature out here is quite cold. It has been below freezing a few times. And this keeps the seed dormant. They, they don't need to grow until it's the right temperature. So these seeds on the surface, although they're not doing much, they haven't died. And should it heat up, when it does heat up, you would expect them to grow. The greenhouse has got uh, a very interesting environment. It's above freezing during the night time, and we're talking 35, 40. Then in the daytime, it can get a lot warmer. You can see that some of these seeds here are just starting to swell. There's also, because of the increased temperature, there's an increased desire to have more water. So that higher temperature would require you to supply more water. Now if we go back to the window, I've got this handy dandy little sprayer, which just puts on a nice even amount of water without washing away the seed. And on close inspection, you can start to see that our windowsill seeds, after a few days, have started to grow. That's what makes radish such a wonderful subject. These started to germinate in five days. Lots of germination, very easy to see. The benefit of windowsill plants is that they are uh, easy for you to take care of because you probably walk past them multiple times a day 
and it's very rewarding when you start to see things germinate. So this windowsill pot really has put on some growth and you can start to see the phototropism lean. Because the windowsill has only got sunlight coming at it from one side, the plant has a mechanism to tilt towards that sunlight. More about that in a moment. Let's go back outside. Now we have had some rain, uh, but not enough rain and not enough heat in this case to get these plants to germinate. All we would need is a, a few days uh, where temperatures get into the 50s and that sun can heat that soil and these radish seeds would be off to the races. But that's the magic of the seeds. They stay dormant until they get the ideal conditions. Going back to our greenhouse, they have grown more than obviously they were earlier. We've got a nice even germination across the whole pot. These do not have any lean on them because they've got light coming in from all sides. They're going to grow very strong and very robust because they're not being pulled by that phototropism that I spoke about earlier. Back to our windowsill. This is another few days later. Uh, this is probably 10 days after sowing and that phototropism lean is very apparent. And this is what happens to any plant you grow in a windowsill. This will happen, particularly with tomatoes because they grow so fast. Now it will be easy to think, well, I'll just turn the pot and that'll fix it. That actually makes it worse because they grow even longer and lankier. And then when you plant them outside, they're very floppy uh, and can break quite easily. So it's good to grow plants on a windowsill because you see them and it's warmer the downside is that we end up with long, lanky plants, and obviously a lot more plants than you probably need. We go back outside to our uh, directly sown plants. There are a few that are growing. They've managed to break their, their shell, and they have had enough water and enough heat. Give this another 10 days, and I would expect this to be covered with radish plants. Very small but very happy to grow in the ground, which is typically how you would sow them. And this brings me to the best. This is the greenhouse, full, dense, no lean, very healthy, very happy. So there you have it. Planting in the ground is uh, very dependent on temperature. Planting on a windowsill, they will grow, but they get very long and lanky. Planting in a greenhouse, and you end up with healthy, vibrant plants. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends, tell your family, Happy planting!